corner kick situations and here's the first of the game and that's Jackson's flick on and cleared away at the back post by Delgado it'll be fetched on the far side and St Louis will have another chance to try and deliver it into the penalty area it's a good ball in by design as well Jackson Bradley Rand, uh, who he is to take the free kick on this might fall to Klaus on the turn and he wants a deflection doesn't get it goal kick well, that's what 35 years of age and experience <laughs> does for you. What can Dallas do here? Seely hits it, and it's a good save from Berkey. Away to his left-hand side, decent height for him, but a good strike all the same from Seely. Wins it back for St. Louis, and the referee pointing quite clearly. He got the ball, so we play on. Marcanic infield for Klaus. Klaus now, it's very congested in there. A little bit of width potentially from Totland outside Jackson, but he goes infield for Ostrak. Now Totland's made a good run to the byline and he lifts it in where it is hit and saved brilliantly to his right after Mechanic got on the end of it. The arrow's out there. Still from the free kick. It's Totland to lift it in over the head of Klaus. Nusa back defending again. And then hit and saved as Ostrak got a side of goal. And once again, works the keeper, Martin Pass. Now this is broken for Alm. And now Jackson wins it and he shoots from distance. He's only got one MLS goal in his career so far. He's little Jackson. They'll want him to get a few more to a degree, although they were knocked out by Houston over two legs. Here's Vasilev. We're in stoppage time at the end of the first half. Volkanic. Ostrak lines it up, and it wasn't far away. Lands on top of the net from Thomas Ostrak. So this is a slow burner of a kind of game, and it produces drama and explosive action late. Israel Jackson and Klaus need to get the ball into them. There is Jackson just floating around and finding a pocket of space. Royal Salt Lake, the earliest goal in... St. Louis City history, 123 seconds from the start. Pompeo goes for the shot, oh, and he's only parried away by pass. Maybe but he just came through the crowd. Yeah, maybe he was screened. He admits that uh, he's looking for something to change. He said to us this week he's a superstitious type. <laughs> he's changed his shampoo and a lot more. I won't go into just how much he <laughs> says he's changed. Here's Klaus on the turn, and he hits it and pass with a save away to his right. He wasn't going to hold that one. That ball was moving. Pompeo, a weaving run, past Ariola, and he keeps going, he goes near post, keeper might have got there, may have also caught a little bit of woodwork. Three goals conceded twice on the road, that uh, contributes to the, the numbers of goals conceded. Ansa uh, slides it in, this is legit, and there's the save from Berkey, quite brilliant from the Swiss stopper to deflect that over the top. Legit must have thought he was going to score, only to be denied. Sent Omar Gonzalez up there. Answer there, Ibiaga's right up there in the six-yard box as well as in it goes and the header produces another great save from Berkey. Down, low to his right-hand side. And now Jackson, no flag. Bounce off Junker. Oh, and Klaus has won it back and somehow it's not gone in. Strength this is from Klaus to Junker. It's awkward from him, his initial touch, it's an awkward one to deal with as he goes to clear it. Klaus just clears them out. There's no foul there. Chunkwa, he needs to be stronger. It's a wonderful strength. Just lean in. Ball's there. It's a tight angle. And it just kisses off the ball. Is there a slight touch off of pass? Well, initially, what a great ball from Durkin. FC Dallas are playing a little higher along their back line. Tempting, so. teasing. St. Louis to almost play that ball in behind. Durkin goes into the book. Just behind it, Durkin. He's pulling his dragon. It's a tire challenge. Well, they've tested Berkey a couple of times. And here's another opportunity for them. And he won't get this one. Oh, what a finish from Omar Gonzalez. And Dallas has stunned City Park and taken the lead with just over 20 minutes to play. But the flag is going to foil them for now on the far side. But it's confirmed. It is offside. And... Well, we don't see the kick. First touch for Adenaran, who plays now with Klaus. 
And the return for Klaus and pass with a great save to turn it behind for the corner. Nearly an instant impact from the substitute as he set up Klaus. Here's Delgado and there's a lot of room for Ariola out on the right hand side for Dallas. Great ball in oh, and put over the top by Sealy. What a chance! As Marcanic came across. And then there is a foul and a yellow card coming here for Totland. Farrington has done really well here. Just a contest between two teams who score late goals. Musa, oh, he's got away from one man and he's going to go for the shot. And it wasn't too far away from Peda Musa, who's looking for a second goal in MLS. Wisdom and experience has just shone through. <laughs> That's just it, the way they've read the game. It's been so good, their distances, no one went to drop when they step forward. But here's Adenarin, and Paz thought about coming, he's retreated, Adenarin puts it just wide! Just wide from the substitute, with a chance to win the game for St. Louis late on. Showing how vulnerable FC Dallas could be if they could get runners in between them. Pompeo. Against Tumasi, this is Klaus, who's... Dropped off and moved around the field a little bit since Adenarin's come on. It's a great ball for Totland. It's laid back for Ostrak. And that's the side netting. They might think on the far side that that's just rippled the back of the net. Well, they've still got some work to do because Klaus is underneath this ball from Parker. And this is Pompeo now. Hoping to weave some magic in the final seconds. It's Pompeo to shoot and pass to save. The five minutes have elapsed. And the referee has seen enough. It's another stalemate in St. Louis. It's a great point on the road and the end of a losing streak for FC Dallas.